Hey everybody, a very, very warm welcome to you to a YouTube organ tutorial today on the Virtual Theatre Organ. It's been a little while since we've actually done one of these, but we had a request from someone, and I'm afraid I'm so sorry, I can't remember who it was, um, but they did ask about, hey, um, love the registration videos on the Wurlitzer and stuff, um, but what about a video on the mutation stops? The mutation stops are these things. Two and two thirds, one and three fifths, five and a third. I'm sure you've seen them, maybe on your home organ, a Hammond drawbar organ, anything like that, a Compton, a Christie or Wurlitzer, and maybe you've always wondered what, what it is they're actually doing. Well, in this video, I'm going to show you some really nice registrations that I hope you're going to enjoy, and uh, we're going to have a little fun together now exploring them. First of all, my name is Tom Horton. I'm a professional organist. I live here in the UK, and my YouTube channel, Keyboard Skills Pro, please do hit subscribe, is all about organs, pianos, keyboards, and music theory. If you'd like to get a bonus PDF to go with this particular organ lesson, you can get that by signing up and supporting the channel on patreon.com forward slash keyboard skills pro. So, what are mutation stops? Well, first of all, what, what, what do we mean by mutation? Well, let's go back to the very beginning, and we're going to choose an eight-foot tibia. I'm going to keep the trem off for the moment, and I'm going to play our good friend in the middle here, middle C. Okay, so there's middle C, blasting its little heart out. Obviously, with the tibia on, it sounds like, uh, the tremulant on the tibia, it sounds like this. And there it is with that, so we'll just keep it there. Now, if I then add to that a four foot stop, we will get an octave above. So that means we're hearing the sound up here from this key. If I put a two foot on, I get the sound up here. And I don't, somebody told me that the one foot tibia fife wasn't on any of the original word. So I don't know if that's completely true, but we are seeing now tibia fifes, uh, or the fife at one foot. So that's right at the top here, off the camera even. So we've got eight foot, four foot, two foot, one foot, all coming from that one key. There it is trimmed, there it is without. So the point of that is, is that when you see um, theatre organ stops, which um, are described as 16, 32 on some organs, eight, four, two, and maybe one, those um, uh, stops all produce the same musical pitch of the key you're playing. Even though you're not actually playing these keys up here, you're hearing a C, another C, another C, and so on. Um, eight foot, which is um, the greatest number of stops you'll find on a console, will be at eight foot. That is what we call unison or concert pitch. So basically it's the same as on a, group, a piano. So uh, in other words, uh, the pipe that plays the lowest C on the keyboard down here, I'll just zoom out a little bit so you can see that, so right on the bottom C here, that pipe down there is, a, is about eight feet long. Um, and if you were to play, um, you know, all the stops activated with all those things, you would you hear multiple Cs being played. So those stops we tend to call fundamentals. Okay, they're fundamental tones. Um, and what those basically do is when you play the pitch on the keyboard, C, you hear a C. You play a D, you play a D. So we've got eight foot strings on, look. We're hearing Ds, an oboe, kinura, English horn over here, look. They're all playing the same note. So that's all called concert um, pitch or unison pitch. So then we come onto these things which are called mutation stops. And what these do, these play um, a different note to the one that you're actually playing. So in other words, they'll add a sound to the sound of your registration, but they'll play a different note that harmonizes with it. And what the mutation stops do, they, they give um, a, a sort of a brightness sometimes. They can make the sound a little bit more um, haunting. They can make it colorful. They can make it rich, uh, various things. Now. When you look at the stops, um, you will see that we have um, a variety of stops on this virtual theatre organ. In case you're wondering, this is on Hauptwerk. I'm using 
this lovely pack um, from Melatone Productions. This is called the Albi Wurlitzer. Uh, this is a, a real organ. Uh, it's in a ballroom in Cincinnati in America. And uh, we have a five and a third foot tibia. We have a three and a fifth tibia. We have two and two third tibias as well as flutes. We have a one and three fifth tibia and also a one and a third on the tibia. So most of those on the tibia is there. Now notice that those stops have numbers on a five, five foot, three foot, two foot, and then there's an additional amount of footage, a third on the five and a third. So what that means is if we put the five and a third, and what it really means it's saying is the pipe at the bottom uh, um, of the keyboard, if you were to play with that stop on, is about five and one third of a foot long. It's not, not exactly that, but it's, it's more or less in that area. The um, two and two thirds means that the lowest pipe is approximately two and two thirds um, of a foot, two foot and two thirds of a foot extra on top. So basically what you have to remember is, is it's more to do not so much with the first number, but with the second number. So, if your mutation stop has a three on the end of it, that means that the stop will produce a, a new sound that will go on top of your fundamental stop, but it will be a fifth above the fundamental note. So the way we work out fifths is we count up five. So C, here's a C look, so play tibia. So one, two, three, four, five. It's actually seven semitones as well. So one, so from C look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you can see, if I play that in fifth slot, can you hear that there's a, a colorful harmony culling coming in? It's quite um, a little bit of a hollowness to it now. So you can use these stops to add color, make the sound maybe richer than it just being fundamental sounds, in other words, the, the same pitches that you're always playing from the stops you have selected. Normally with mutation stops, you tend to find them on things like flute pipes, so things like um, flutes and tibias, certainly in a theatre organ. You do occasionally see them, there are some organs with some, I think some string ranks on, maybe some diapasons, but, but most um, 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 uh, mostly it's found on on sort of tibias and, and, and flute footages and so on. So let's now take our first registration, which is made up of the following ranks. Eight foot tibia. We're gonna put on some eight foot strings, and then we're gonna put on a two and two thirds tibia, and then a two foot tibia. Okay, tibia eight, strings eight, tibia two, but then the two and two thirds. Now what the two and two thirds do, they are going to produce a fifth sound, but up here in the, um, um, up here in the, uh, in the keyboard area. So basically, um, if I, for example, was playing middle C, okay, that's eight foot, all right. Four foot is up here, two foot is up here, so two and two thirds is, is in this area, you see. Okay, so that's where the fifth's there. And you can hear, if I put the trems on, okay, and I'll take the two and two thirds off. This is the eight foot tibia, the eight foot string and the two foot tibias, look. So if I play that with a song such as, uh, what have I got in my music right here? The, um, the, um, the uh, Look of Love. And we'll put some stops on, that might actually help. There we are. I'll press the cancel button. Here we go then. Now you see, that's a lovely sound, isn't it? I think we've done that one before, the eight and the two foot tibia with the eight foot string. But we want a little something extra, especially as we're playing down here in the tenor area, sort of the tenor octave and the middle C area. Let's now add this. So listen to what happens when I play my D, and then I add the two and two thirds on the tibia. So watch this, look, here we go. Here's the screen. 
You hear that? Change, listen again, look. So we've got a slightly, we've got a, a richer, um, nasally almost kind of sound there. Listen to the song now, gang. That's great, isn't it? Just by adding the two and two third stops right there, look, on the tibias. That's a great sound, isn't it? And so easy to do. So you can see, when I start playing down on my in my lower octave area, that really does transform the sound because we're hearing the, the harmonic that the mutation is producing even stronger. Up here, it's quite bright, look with the trims, that might help a little bit. Here we go then. But down here, look. Lower still. That's really great, isn't it? And of course, what you notice there is there's so few stops selected. Have a look at the screen, look. So few stops, look. Eight, strings eight, tibia two, but then the two and two thirds. I even added the flute there as well, just for a bit of fun. So remember that, anything with a three at the end of the mutation means it will play a fifth above your, um, your fundamental. Um, if it's five and a third, it will be here. If it's two and two thirds, it will be up here. If it's one and three fifths, it'll be, it'll be um, obviously much higher up. Now, one of my favorite registrations on a theater organ is the hollowness of the tibias. If I put tibia 16 and two on, this is a brilliant sound. What a lovely combination. Listen to that, look. Hey gang, let's now pop on some mutation stops. I'm gonna lose, from my great keyboard, I'm gonna lose the two foot tibias, and I'm gonna put my two and two third tibias on. I'm then gonna go past the two foots and put my um, one and three fifths and one and a third on. Now middle C is down here, okay, so my two and two thirds are going to play in the second octave here in the middle, don't forget anything with a three on the end is a fifth harmonic, so it's doing that. My one and three third is going to be up here, just off the camera, and let's just go out a little bit on the camera there so you can see, there it is. That's gonna be up there. And my, but this time we're gonna use a one and a, one and, um, one and three fifths. Now, anything with a fifth on the end, okay, so for example, one and three fifths, that produces the harmonic of a third above a fundamental note. So um, in this case, the third is gonna be up here so the one and um, uh, the one and a third is going to be um, up the top there. One and three fifths is going to be here. Two and two thirds is going to be here. My fundamental um, sixteen foot is going to be right down the bottom here. So don't forget, it's all normally with mutation stops you pair them with um, uh, at fundamental stops, uh, the foundation tones. Now listen to this registration now. Then let's play that again. But listen to this this gorgeous rich colour. Now your ear is listening to the 16 foot stop. It's that's what it's grabbing onto. But of course it, it then is listening to the high pitches up here, but of course these are playing G's and E's. Have a listen look as I change my stops across. Back to two foots look only, 16 two.
There it goes. Twos and sixteens, look. There we go. Let's go back to the two and two thirds. The one and three fifths. Now listen to it, look. Isn't that a lovely tone? Very different, isn't it? You can hear it's 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 richer and and brighter in some ways than the, the pure um, pitches. So um, that's really cool, isn't it? I think there's some lovely, lovely registrations already there. Um, we do also have, again, on some theatre organs you might come across, you might come across a five and a third. Now, again, don't forget, if it's got a three on the end of the numbers, it plays a fifth above your, your foundation pitch. So if we put tibia eight on, it will sound like this. If you play a fifth above, that's the fifth, and this is what happens when I turn this stop on. There you go, it's playing the fifth above. Almost sounds a little bit like a classical organ mixture stop, doesn't it? Obviously a mixture is a uh, multiple um, things all mixed together, but... Now the five and a third is incredibly useful if you've got one, because it can create um, a sound that's quite haunting. So let's try this registration. Tibia 8, strings 8, vox at 8, um, and let's put a 2 foot tibia on. But instead of the 4 foot tibia, oh, hey, let's put those trims back on, Tom. I'm going to find another song in my book. I've got a lovely book in front of me, um, and I'm going to just play a song at random out of it here. We're... So that is called With My Eyes Wide Open, I'm Dreaming, written by Harry Gordon and Harry Rev Matt Gordon and Harry Revel, sorry. Lovely for close harmony work there. Let's take the four foot tibia out and put a five and a fifth in. Now listen to this. Can you hear that really uh, sort of yearning, haunting kind of quality there? Isn't that lovely from the five and a third? So to listen to the difference, look. Here we go, look, we're gonna put a little chord down. And you can hear instantly the five and a third goes off. There's the four foots. So that's all fundamentals. Eights, fours, twos, strings, look, voxes. Take the four foot out, put the fifth in, five and a third in, and we get that fifth sound. Great sound, really nice. Now, especially if you play lower down, Great sound, really, really nice. So, now, the, I mentioned at the beginning that the idea of the mutation stops were um, to add colour and richness. And here in England, we have a very popular um, style of playing, which is called the Blackpool style. And it kind of comes from the, f the playings of Reginald Dixon at the Tower Ballroom at Blackpool, where they had uh, originally a smaller world, so, but now they've got this lovely um, three-manual 14-rank instrument. And if you put on your eight-foot reeds, like saxophone, oboe, the strings, the four-foot tibias, the strings, all those kind of lovely stops. But then at the top end, you put the two and two-thirds on the two-foots, and the one and three fifths, 
you get this very rich, bright sound that's quite light, okay? Very famously, of course, done with this. And uh, yes, I, I've got to do it, I am sorry. It's very bright, very rich, very colourful. Fantastic for nice, quick, lively songs where you want a nice little bit of go in the sound. Very bright, isn't it? And you can even put both hands on the keyboard. So I could use that, maybe say this was my signature song and I'm going down on the console. If we take off the, the mutation stops there and just go to straight fours and two, eights and twos, so it's, it's okay, it's nice, but when we add those mutations in, Isn't it great? It's really good. So, whoever recommended we talk about mutations, thank you so much for doing that. By the way, if you'd like to have a little bonus PDF with those on, um, you can download that free of charge when you sign up for silver level or above on the Patreon uh, page for the um, for Keyboard Skills Pro. And uh, that's uh, a way of supporting my YouTube channel and helping it grow. So those of you guys who are silver level or above, you'll be able to get the screenshots of some of those registrations as well. I might even put a few extras in just for fun. So thanks so much for watching everybody. Hope you've enjoyed that. Thank you to whoever it was um, who recommended it. It was on one of the, one of the comments actually. Um, but it's a great sound, really nice from the, uh, from the mutations. Do give it a try. And uh, when you're playing those ballads or those bright songs, um, it will make such a big sound um, to your registration. So do give those a try, everybody. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon on Keyboard Sills Pro for another video. Thanks a lot. Cheerio.